Another function that we're very excited about in version 9 is the ability to import Bing map information. I'll show you how this is done. I'm going to press H and magnify in a bit. I'm going to go to insert and select Bing maps aerial image. Reading my prompt, it says position screen for approximate image coverage and press enter. So I'm going to press enter. If you don't have your projection settings set up yet, Civil Designer will automatically give you this option. This particular project is done in Cape Town, so the projection settings is set up accordingly. Click on OK. Within a couple of seconds, you would specify where you want to save. And then looking at the end result. In addition to that, you can also use Bing Maps to obtain a point grid file. You need to first go and set up your projection settings to specify where in the world your project is situated. I've already gone and set it up accordingly. I click on OK. And then going to your terrain mode, going to the terrain menu, selecting point grid, specify you want the point heights via Bing Maps, specify where you want to save the points, and then specify a horizontal and vertical grid spacing. And then specify the area of these grid points. Having obtained these grid points, I'm able to then go and put in my triangulation and then generate my contours. So I'm then turn both of those settings on. I go to model on top, triangulate, specify maximum line length of let's say 45, click on OK. And already I have my contours. So if I turn off the triangulation, I'm able to go to my display settings and specify at which interval I would like these contours to be at. Furthermore, I can then go and generate these contours and put on the labels.